Hi friends. I am in the area of my house that I refer to as the bunker. It's about a four foot wide by three and a half foot tall area that is center block. It's dry, so it provides nice storage, but it doesn't have any light. So unless I have light, I can't see. But sometimes we feel as though the only light we have gets extinguished quickly. But Jesus has given us something different. He has given us light. We have just finished Christmas and we're moving into a new year. And maybe you have some optimism. You know, that the, the days are short. There's not much sunlight right now. And we can be discouraged because we can't go anywhere. It's cold. It's depressing. It sometimes just squeezes us in. But in John chapter 1, we find that it talks about Jesus when it says the word. And it says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And then through him, all things were made. And then in John 1, 5, it says, The light, meaning Jesus, shines in the darkness, and the darkness could never extinguish it. Darkness in this world cannot extinguish the light that Jesus has given you. No matter what's coming around you, no matter how crushed or trapped you feel, nothing can extinguish the light that Jesus has given you. Nothing can take it away. Because, you know, in John three sixteen it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. But then verse 17, it says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus came to give you the light, so that you would no longer have to live in darkness. And there is no force in this world that can take away that light. You can be discouraged. You can be frustrated. You can be beside yourself. But nothing can remove the light that Jesus has given you. So stay encouraged during these dark days, whether we're talking about literal or figurative, nothing can extinguish the light that Jesus has given you because he came to save you from sin, from darkness, and call you into light. Stay connected to each other and to Jesus.